You can track reimbursable expenses, but first you need to set them up. Go to Edit, Preferences, and scroll to Time and Expenses. Go to your Company Preferences tab and check that you would like to track reimbursable expenses as income. You can mark them up automatically or not. The second step is to go to your Lists, Chart of Accounts, and add two new accounts. The first account will be an income account called Reimbursed Expenses, and then also create a second account called Reimbursable Expenses as an expense account. Make sure you mark to track reimbursed expenses in the income account we just created called Reimbursed Expenses. Now let's write a couple of checks to different vendors that we would like to get reimbursed for by the customer. Write the check, choose the account as Reimbursable Expenses, Mark in the description field what it is for and choose the correct customer and make sure you make the amount billable. Let's write the second check to vendor number two. Again, you choose the account as reimbursable expenses, mark clearly what it's for and mark it billable to the same customer. When you now invoice the customer, QuickBooks will remind you that you have unbilled expenses. Click OK and the billable time and cost window will appear. We have no billable time, so let's go to the Expenses tab. And here they are, the two checks we just wrote. Select them both. You can make them taxable or not. And when you click OK, QuickBooks will add both of them as a group and will individually mark the descriptions you put in the memo fields. All you need to do now is to save and close. If we now look at our profit and loss statement, you will see that $250 as income in the reimbursed expenses account and also as an expense in the reimbursable expenses account. You will be able to track the expenses and the net effect on the statement will be zero because you are just passing through your expenses to the client.